Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor. Moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about a game that's been out for a good amount of time, but we aren't just talking about a game that's been out for a good amount of time. We are talking about some of the worst things about the game that we are talking about. And of course, it's the one and only Sea of Thieves. And the Majestic Unicorn has led us to this one. Hey, Majestic Unicorn. Hello! To go ahead and tell everybody that, you know, there are some bad things about this game that are, you know, still currently kind of plaguing it. And, uh, you know, just to get into that, is there good about the game? Yes, absolutely. There is some good fun to be had in the, uh, you know, Sea of Thieves universe. And we have enjoyed the hell out of, uh, you know, I would say 75% of our play with it. But... Some of these negative aspects that still kind of surround it uh, really aren't necessarily the game's fault with the exception of, uh, you know, one that can kind of be attributed to it. But, uh, you know, some of the worst things, let's go through them. One of the worst things is, uh, man, being stuck with a bum crew because, uh, you know, if you aren't sailing with your own mates and things of that nature and folks that you know and your own little crew uh, and you are on like a, uh, you know, just kind of open ship assignment and such and you get stuck with a bum crew, man, that could be one of the worst sessions of playtime, uh, you know, that you can possibly have uh, with folks either A, not knowing what they're doing or B, just kind of screwing around or C, not having the kind of mentality of wanting to do kind of what you were wanting to do or accomplish and such there can be a lot of stuff that kind of leads to a negative uh you know kind of play experience uh now does the you know world still look awesome while you're doing it sure man yeah game's gorgeous all that you know it's got that going for it uh but you know you can't get stuck with a bum crew and that's definitely uh you know a negative thing what's another negative thing you might ask for us not to tell you so that we could just wrap this up but we're going to tell you anyway to drag it out out and extend it out like we have some kind of quality crappy content that we offer uh, another thing that is a negative aspect of sea of thieves is getting stuck with no crew that's right nothing worse than being on the biggest ship the galleon or galleon or however you want to correctly pronounce it that we cannot uh you know you get stuck on that ship with no crew man that's almost as bad as being stuck with a bum crew at least with a bum crew man you might get someone to help you raise an anchor once or twice uh uh, you know, or pull a sail, or, you know, s do something correctly, uh, man, you get stuck with no crew, and that can be a very kind of poor play experience, uh, you know, as well, if you weren't from the get-go looking to kind of just do a solo sloop mission or something like that, like we said, you know, you go and you try and get an assignment on a bigger ship, man, you can uh, end up having a not-so-fun experience doing that, but, you know, those are just some aspects of the game that, you know, are a drawback from, uh, you know, actual other players perspectives what's one big thing that is a drawback from the actual development side and uh you know implementation of stuff you might ask well you probably don't ask but we tell you anyway because we're on a roll here and we're just going to tell you more crap so Another negative aspect of Sea of Thieves currently, man, is kind of their slow multiplayer matchmaking system. That's right, man, for their uh, little quick getting into the action battles and things like that, uh, and unless you happen to just luck into a game that's about to jump off or start in today's current dynamics and such, we have waited in lobbies that shift server to server to server multiple times, uh, you know, without ever doing a match. One time waiting upwards of, man, it had to have been at least 30 minutes, and we kind of waited it out and ended up leaving before, you know, any game ever started because we realized that we're kind of just wasting time, uh, you know, and ended up just going and sailing the seas or playing something else. We don't remember. Who cares? Uh, but that is a negative aspect, some slow multi player matchmaking. Now, that could be a player base issue as well, or a desire for people to do that. Uh, but if that's the case, man, they need to, uh, I guess, develop it and shift it around to where it's at least a one ship versus one ship, or, you know, just three ships and consolidate those crews where they have, uh, you know, one or two people on, uh, you know, one of the, you know, ships going around and stuff. So, you know, I don't know. However they want to address it, who cares? The game, in essence, is fun, and you can enjoy some time playing it, but there are some bad things about it. You're welcome for us telling you. Anyhow, worst things about Sea of Thieves, what can be said about you overall? Uh, you get an S, because...
because there's some. So there's some with everything, though. So who cares? Do whatever you feel like. Play it, don't play it. Oh, give us money. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.